And for more on this story, you can go to the website of Germany's leading daily, and that's handelsblatt.com, or you check our own website, that's dwworld.de. And for more, we're joined by Jörg Rochol, financial market expert from the European School of Management and Technology here in Berlin. Um, what about your gold reserves? I already noticed you don't have a golden ring. I hope you didn't sell it. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, but if I had owned gold, uh, I probably would have sold it right away. Mm -hmm. Because the price of gold has soared, especially in the last year, from October 2008 to December 2009. It went up by 40 percent. India buys gold, China does, all the central banks do. What exactly does this new gold rush imply for the financial world as a whole? There are some fundamental factors that drive um, the gold price at the moment. So there's a decline in supply of gold over the last years. Um, there's an increase in demand, uh, given that there is a weakness in the US dollar, maybe a weakness of the world economy as a whole. But there's also um, some type of hurting going on at this point. More and more retail investors enter the gold market and, and buy gold, which is always um, a bad signal for any asset class, as we saw, for example, in the dot-com bubble a couple of years back. I mean, there's this, uh, this rumor that gold is more reliable. Why? What does make it uh, reliable? Well, it's, uh, it's a physical, it's a real asset, uh, something that has kept its value over a long um, period of time, which may not uh, always be the case for uh, nominal values like uh, um, paper money.